Okay, so I'm getting this question asked about a lot. Uh, I thought I'd give you some information about the difference between pointed boxing and sealed boxing. The advantages of both. Okay. We all know what a pointed box is. Is uh, where you have one, two, or three sub woofers. You have a port where there's a slot or an aerial. Uh, there's a difference between the two, and that goes for another video. But I just talk about the boxes itself. Uh, a ported box versus a sealed box. Some, it's a misconception that people say sealed boxes don't get low. That's not true. That's not true. Uh, you said sealed box don't get low, it's because you didn't have the box designed for the sub. You just put it in a box. Every subwoofer needs a box designed for it, whether it's sealed or ported. Every subwoofer does not necessarily operate in the same volume. That's where the custom thing comes in, okay? Now, a seal does not necessarily outperform a port. It does, neither does a port it necessarily outperform a seal. They have their own uses based on the application. The application is what you're using it for. A seal box has a lower roll-off if it's designed correctly than a ported enclosure. A ported enclosure, you tune to a certain frequency. Frequencies around that tuning are boosted. For instance, if you tune an enclosure to 32 or 33 hertz, 32, 31, below are boosted. Less frequencies below tuning are boosted than frequencies above tuning. So it's tuning 33 hertz, 31 and 32, thir uh, 33, 32 and 31 would get a slight increase as well. 34, 35, 36, 37 definitely get a boost. The closer you get to the tuning or the enclosure, the louder it is. On the, whatever your tuning is, on the high side, tune to 33, 34, 35, 36, gonna get a boost. 37 as well, just for example. 32 and 31 are gonna get a boost as well. Below tuning, you don't get that much as a boost. As you start to go below tuning, your boost starts to diminish, either by, at first by 6 dB, and then 12, and then 24, because then the wolf starts to act like it's in a free air environment. There's no back pressure at all. The back pressure is what gives you your boost, the hem holds resonator. A ported box can be louder than a sealed box on the same power, because not only do you get the base from the front of the cone, you also get the base from the back of the cone using the hem holds. Hem Holtz Resonator, that is a technical term. Basically, it means that you're able to take the wave, the, the base wave that's being generated when the cone moves backwards, you're getting to recycle that, and that's what the port does. Whether it's a slot or it's an aerial, you turn one silk wolf into two, or if you have two in the ported box, it turns into three. Because the port, contrary to popular belief, does not shoot out air. The port is actually resonating in time with what's happening in the front so that you get the base from the back wave and the front wave. In a sealed enclosure, you only get base from the front wave. Does that make sense? You only get, you only, all your base is coming from what? The front of the cone. And the deepness of the base is coming from if the, if the, the suspension the enclosure is helping the, the sealed enclosure is helping the cone generate the frequencies you're trying to hear. And the, the way this created when it moves backwards is staying inside the sealed box. So let's look at some of the pros and cons of it. If you don't have a lot of power to give and you want to get as loud as you possibly can, a ported box is your application. And most people like the effect of a ported box. You get boosted results. Yes, there's a steep roll off below tuning, but which can be a which can be in the roll off can be delayed even further if someone knows your resonant frequency of your vehicle and understands transfer function. You can extend that a little further 
down the port, but it would down the tuning, but it would never be as as shallow as a ceiling closure. It'd be fairly close, but not as shallow as a ceiling closure. Okay. Hey, baby. Pardon me, y'all. Tracy. Saya. Okay, maybe y'all can hear. I, I hope this don't they buy you know transit the video. I'm deep. I'm informal with this thing, okay? So, with that being said, now a sealed enclosure has to be designed correctly for that roll-off to be shallow, for that base to be deep. You can get louder with a ported enclosure because it's more efficient. You get the back and the front wave. On a seal, you just get the front. But the seal can take way more power than a ported. Because you have the suspension of the enclosure to enable the subwoofer to handle a lot of power. And thus, and that's when X Max comes into play with a sealed enclosure. Not so much with a ported. X Max really comes into play then because the more that cone can move, the lower the frequency you can generate in the proper enclosure. So, hey, baby, can you help me tone down just a little bit? Because I'm making the video. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, I can hear him way up here. Okay. So, those are the trade-offs. If you have a lot of power to give, and you want to get loud as possible, and you want, and you can pretty much go, know when your roll off is and you're gonna play music below that frequency gets you a ported enclosure but let's say you don't have a lot of power to give you want to get as loud as you possibly can then a ported enclosure probably the way you go me personally i like ported over sealed most people do but i wanted to clear up that misconception about ported and sealed saying one is best said better than the other. That's not true. There are some articles that you can read. It's just the application decides which one you want to use. Uh, there's some articles that you can look. Uh, maybe I can put them in the description later. I keep forgetting to do that, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to remember to do it this time. Got articles by JR Audio, uh, which are yeah, audio engineers, some articles by uh, Dizzle Designs. I mean, you can go to their websites and read their support section. Go in their support section because these, these principles apply. It don't matter what manufacturers you subs you plan on using. The principles are the same. Working with electricity is the same. Uh, the power in, power out, box dimensions, port area too, and all that stuff is the same. Read as much as you possibly can. Not yet, baby. Read as much as you possibly can on from those two sites. Robert Fallsgate, J Audio, they got uh, DD Digital Designs. They got a lot of information that you can read and you can gain the information, the, the understanding that some of y'all feel I have. Uh, years ago, I was in MECP certified. I'm 47 years old, so years ago, I was MECP certified. But electricity has not changed from 1990. To now, the principles of that. Then principles of uh, correct volume and subwoofer. Uh, the principles of tuning the enclosure. Seventeen twenty-eight. Still a cubic foot. <laughs> knowing how to know how to do those things. That has not changed. It's, there's, there's really no there's no trick to getting loud or getting efficient with your system. It's just knowing the principles and applying them. There are no shortcuts. But those are the differences between seal and port and enclosures. Okay, then you got. Uh, so I mean, I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna let that be a whole other. I think that'd be a whole other video where we be talking about into the port and enclosures. Now we're gonna talk about the different orders of port and enclosures because you, then you have the six order, the quasi eight, uh, the series two, uh, the bait, the, the fourth order, it's, and all those are port and enclosures. All those use the Helmholtz resonator effect in a different way and all of them enable you to use the waves that's generated in the back of the cone to your benefit okay so that's how enough we'll talk about that 
Stay tuned to my channel. Please like and subscribe. I'm getting this from there. all the other people I see on YouTube. Do that. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Hit the like button below. Share those if you like the information I presented. Because everybody can, different people take information in different ways. Uh, oh, yeah, like that comment. My wife just told me to. If you, if, you, if you have a video that you want me to talk about, a subject that you want me to talk about, would you please, uh, would you video, would you please comment in the section below and then I'll write it down, my wife will write it down, and I'll talk about it later. Because maybe the way I'm explaining things to people is easier for me to understand uh, than others. Everybody can understand. I mean, we go to high school and you learn things different from different teachers. Maybe the way I'm, I'm presenting it is a way for you can grasp it. So like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm a holler at you.